it just I put them together over years so sometimes you know the it doesn't flow as nicely and it's just because it's still a work in progress okay but uh, it has everything you need it's just not always in the order that I would like it to be in okay um, just a quick recap right we did talk about the advantage and disadvantage of buying new versus used right and you should have something on your study sheet on this um, and uh, that chart is summarizing it you will need to know sometimes you'll have to explain why okay and we talked about that okay so example three uh, you're buying a car at a dealership that's important to us and that is a base price of 13,899 before taxes that is important right before taxes a down payment there's a down payment of $1,800 required Subaru is financing the Subaru financing is offering you at a rate of 6.75 percent over five years so you know this is going to go into financing right if they give you an interest rate so an interest rate can be used to calculate the interest in dollars down the road okay so there's a bit of a interest is happening a lot that word comes up a lot and there's a, a rate and as a percent and then later on we find the actual dollar amount that you spend on interest sometimes for the whole five years the term or for a month like we can do either one okay and I told you this right like when financing we won't have to worry about taxes right I told you that uh, this this example does have taxes in it so if you if you've already done this um, I do give you a hint to include taxes here right so the total cost including taxes we're going to do that here 13,899 and it's at a dealership it doesn't matter if it's used or new it's going to be 12 percent dealership right away 12 percent and so let's go ahead and find out what that is you type that in you get 15,566.88 watch your rounding right but that's the total cost of the car Right. and now it says the amount of loan required it, they, they want to know how much are you going to borrow right so amount of loan required would be the cost including taxes minus the down payment right you'd have to subtract because that's what you saved up okay minus the down payment so you subtract that and you get if you can follow along with your calculator okay if you can and that is 13,766.88 so this is what it costs this is how much you're actually gonna have to finance the loan will be this much and and keep this note here okay subtract down payment after taxes that is the thing right trade-in is different remember we talked about trade-in uh trade-in is all it is like your you, it's a down payment in a sense but trade-in happens before taxes which is actually a better deal like if you if you ask me hey you want fifteen hundred dollars cash to pay that car or do you want this clunker right this old car and and trade it in it's better to have a trade and if you could choose right all right what is the monthly payment and if you remember then this formula should be on your on your study sheet as well right so it is the the loan times table rate divided by a thousand because you're going to get a number that is how much you pay per thousand dollars of loan so that's why it's actually written like this so loan is 13,766.88 if they don't ask you to calculate the loan required you would have to do this 
here, okay? This here would have had to happen in here, and you'll see instances where I'll show you that. And so let's go and find that table right now. And remember, we will match five years. I'll give myself some room here. We will match five years, right? Which sit with 6.75%. So don't, I've seen it all folks, okay? Some put 6.75 in here, wrong, right? This is from the table. So go get the, the table rate. We're gonna match it and get it, right? So I have my other booklet here, so I'm gonna to go to page 14, that's where that table is, right? So five years, and it's 6.5, right? Short-term memory issues, 6.75. Okay, five years, and 6.75 here on the left, right? You go over and you match it, and it's 1969, okay? So you gotta be careful there. That's usually worth a mark, just getting the right table rate. And so you'd go 13,766.88, multiply by 1969, then divide it by 1,000. And you get 271.5. Right? And that's per month. We only calculate monthly payments here, right? You're probably aware that you could do weekly, bi-weekly, it's up to you. But the principle is still the same. Like the, the idea, the main idea is the same. Okay. Um, so here is the monthly payment. We got that. That's what you're paying every month for five years, okay? Now they want the total amount paid for the vehicle by the end of the five years, okay? So here's total paid, and that's including, right, like what you pay to the bank, right? So we're going to go down payment plus paid to bank. Most of the time, they're only going to be interested in what you pay to the bank. Okay, I'm, getting, I'm already giving stuff away here. But this is total paid for the vehicle in total. So you paid that down payment, and there's a certain amount you pay to the bank. So let's go and find that. My down payment is 1800 Paid to the bank, I'm going to do that in brackets. So that's 27107 multiplied by five years multiply it by 12 and you should recognize that 5 times 12 is 60 so it's really going 27107 times 60 right that is what you paid the bank this is what the bank received this that's another thing some folks think that the down payment goes to the bank it actually goes to the owner of the car right so let's say this is your car top view old 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 car right and they want 20 grand for it if you have a $2,000 down payment, you actually give it to this person and the other $18,000 will come to them from the bank, okay? So it's like cash and here's some more from the bank, okay? So that's what's happening here. So let's figure out what this is in the bracket first. And that is, as you can tell, I like to show as much work as possible because if i make a mistake no big deal because i'm showing my reasoning so this is what you paid the bank and this is the down you you spent both of those on the car okay eighteen thousand sixty four and twenty cents that's the total paid for the car <clears throat> And you're probably thinking, wait a minute, didn't we just calculate an A that this is the cost of the car? And you're telling me that this is the cost of the car? What happened here? Well, what happened is interest. You finance this amount. Well, you actually finance the rest after the down payment, right? 
And so this is the amount with interest. You will always pay back more than what you borrowed if you're if you're borrowing if you go through financing okay there's no doubt about that how much money in interest alone was paid so i'm going to give you the formula here total interest is payment times years times 12 it's always times 12 minus loan and i'm going to put this in a in a box so you know i would not worry about this one here up here because most of the time i'm not going to worry about the down payment being added to this okay so i would just worry about this one here And this amount represents the total paid to the bank over the five years. And this is what you started off with, right? And so the difference is going to give you the total interest you've paid. So we our payment is 27107 times 5 times 12, right? And I keep this in brackets for now, minus what was my loan? My loan was this amount here, right? But you started, like that's what you had to borrow. $13,766.88. If you use brackets, if you have a calculator with brackets, you can throw this in there, one shot, no problem. I'm gonna do this in steps. And I'm, I'm going to kind of borrow my work from up here, because if you notice, this here happened already. It's happening again. So I'm going to write down the 16,264.20 minus 13,766.88. And... 2497.32. Imagine what you could do with that money, right? 2500. So basically, if you had saved it up yourself and paid for the vehicle cash, you would have saved yourself 24 or 2500. Now, a lot of you is like, I don't care. I want the card now, right? It's like, yeah, I get it. I get it. But it's it's this much money that you're it's not yours, it goes to the bank. That's their profit. Okay. F, if you add optional equipment, which costs 1500 bucks, state the sticker price of the car. So I don't know if you remember, it looked, it sounds like ages ago, right? Sticker is base plus options plus transportation. So there are no taxes, nothing. Basically, the price before taxes. So we knew that the base price was $13.99. The options that you're adding here is $1,500. There is no freight I mentioned. So it's just $15,399 even. It's just to remind you that sticker price is still there. Oh. Durrell, you're there? Okay. Uh, so what was that, 9.15? Yeah, please let me know if you join, okay? Okay, so let's go to page 15 now. I joined, but I don't know. I called your name, Griffin, but I, I didn't get a hear from you. So I'm marking you here now. Okay. <clears throat> 
So on 15, is, there should be a blank page there. We're just going to add a few things. And I'm going to base that. I'm going to base what I'm about to tell you on this question right here. I don't know if you remember yesterday, right? Like we, we went from a five-year loan to a three-year loan and looked at what happens to the payment, what happens to the total interest paid, right? So when we decreased the term of the loan, your payment went up, but the total interest paid went down. So if you reduce the amount of time of the loan, you'll pay less interest overall, even though at first you're like, what? My payment is so, so big, right? Compared to what it used to be. It's like, yes, but you're paying it off sooner. So the interest can't uh, accumulate as, as uh, so an 84 month loan is gonna, right? That's a seven year loan is gonna cost you more in interest, right? The payments go down. But that's that's uh, the trade-off, I guess. So here we go. I'm just going to add a few things here. This is on page 15. If you use that 15, this should only take about half a page. So how to reduce the total interest paid. Um, and I'm just going to make sure you are familiar the finance charge. That's the same thing as in total interest paid, right? You can decrease the term of loan, right? So example... change from five years to four years. And this is going to be the exact same thing when we're talking mortgages. Okay. And that's going to be like May, June. Increase the down payment, right? If you were to increase the down payment, And that should make sense to you, right? If you if you have a two thousand dollar down payment instead of a zero down payment, right? You're gonna pay less interest over the term of that loan, over the lifetime of that loan. You can make additional payments. So. Um, or lump sum, we call them lump sum. So let's say you're you're getting a nice Christmas gift. You know, somebody gives you 500 bucks. I wish, right? You wish. And instead of blowing it on, spending it on who knows what, you can say, hey, I'm gonna take the $500, go to the bank and put it towards my loan. You know what the beauty is of that? Is that every single dollar goes towards the loan. It goes towards knocking it down. You know how your payment every month has some interest on it? That 500 bucks goes towards knocking it down, right? So it's it helps big time. So a lump sum is like a one time, like once a year kind of thing. Additional payments is if you tell them, hey, listen, um, I want my main payment to stay 271 a month, but I want to make an extra $30 payment at the same time. And let's say you're running low on cash. You're like, okay, bank, can you cancel that second payment that's coming off for $30 a month? I, I, I Right now, I can't afford it because I need to join a gym, you know, or I need to pay for Spotify, Netflix, or whatever, right? You cancel that, but that's the way to do it. Have two payments going at the same time if you want to increase your payment, but don't say, I want my payment to be larger because canceling that is harder, okay? Just make a second additional payment every month. All right, next. How to reduce your monthly payment. So 
So we had, uh, right, this is our, was our question up there. And so questions like these can come up. Okay, so how to reduce a monthly payment? You can increase the term of loan, right? So you're going to go from a five-year to a six-year or from a three-year to a five-year, right? The longer you take to pay, the lower your monthly payments are going to be. So if you need that extra cash, that's how you do it. Increase down payments. Here it is again. Right, if your down payment is bigger, then there's less to finance. So obviously your monthly payment is going to come down. And um, shop for the lowest interest rate. I would say the first two are top. Uh, the interest rate, a lot of times the interest rate is about the same no matter where you go. You can negotiate, but it's harder to do that. All right. If you've written this down, I want, I want you to go to page 16. That's where that third assignment starts. Yeah, 16. I'm just going to check something there if I actually made those changes or not. If I didn't make the changes, I have to add something. There. Okay, so folks at home, I'm moving on. I know it's a little slower at home, but yeah, it's not there. So, um, can you add to that first question? So the, the first question is going to guide you through, ask you all the steps in between. So there, it goes all the way to E, right? I would like you to add F down here. Calculate. The interest paid on the first month's payment. Calculate the interest paid on the first month's payment. So only on the first month we're going to calculate that. I'm going to show you how to do that. And I will give you a formula there. Uh, I think that formula I will add on page 15 because this is going to get too, too crowded here. Okay, and so I got it. Go to page uh, 16. We're going to actually go back to 15 for a moment here. So write down this question, calculate the interest rate. So I'm, I think I'm going to highlight or underline, right? Interest on the first month's payment. That is like the first month is different than the total interest paid. So underline it or highlight it, whatever works for you. And then I'm going to go back to 15 and give you the formula for this, which should also find its way into your study sheet. So in this course, I don't assign a whole lot of homework. So what you should be proactive uh, with is after a lesson or whatever, just quickly update your study sheet because you know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you with an AC or a quiz, right? Like that's how I make sure you stay on top. So be proactive. Go back through the questions, review, right? And that's, that's what I would suggest you do. So let's go to 15. 
and we'll just call those formulas. And if I have any more formulas down the road, I will add them to page 15. Okay. Interest paid on the first month. This is key, first month, not total, okay? Not total interest. And this is what I can, I can tell you, you're gonna have a question like this on several several occasions and what i'm trying going to try to emphasize is do not mix them up right there's first month like just on that first month right on that little payment that you're making or big payment whatever it is there's a portion of that that goes towards interest every month that's what we're calculating here okay so it's usually a smaller amount the total interest is usually in the thousands okay so this should be only you know 50, 60, maybe a couple hundred dollars. That's about it. So this is the formula for this. So you go loan, okay? You take your loan. This is the interest rate, not the table rate, divided by 100, right? Because our interest rates are always percentages, so we need to divide it by 100 to get it into a decimal. And you're going to multiply all of that, or sorry, divide all of that by 12. Because you're finding, right, you're, you're dividing it because if you just did this, that's for the whole year, you're going to divide it by 12 to get it for just for that one month. So, so if, you're, if you're differentiating, this is I. The other one you can call it TI total interest. You know the maybe I'll get I'll do it right here. Total interest. It doesn't hurt having it in one spot, right? I know I gave it to you already. Paid over life of loan or throughout that whole loan. So let's call it TI. Right. And here you go, loan, no, sorry. My bad. So this goes payment, right? Times years, times 12, minus the loan. Don't we all love formulas, right? Yeah, 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 stop talking, just give me the formula. Oh, this is it. Here's your, if this is you, then there it is. How do you find the payment, right? So notice this, you need to find the payment before you could even attempt this question here, okay? So calculating payment. This is the first time I do this, by the way, give you all the formulas in one, in one shot here. So payment is going to be the loan again, okay, loan, but I will, I will do this here. Uh, price minus down, because that is the loan, this is the loan amount, right? Like you're always gonna have uh, a, the price of the car and there may be a down payment which needs to come off. And that's what we call a loan, okay? So you can say the same thing up here where it says loan, you would have to do the same thing there. If there is a down payment at all, you have to take it down from the price of the car before you do that, okay? So uh, price minus down, and then it's a table rate. Table rate divided by a thousand. So this is where study sheets are key. I have a lot of students like, oh, I got this. I'm just gonna divide by 100. 
or they divide this guy by a thousand, right? No, it's a big difference. Okay, it makes it makes a big difference. Your your answer will not make sense. Okay, I'm gonna box that in too. So here it is. Oh, these are. If you if you have these three formulas, you're you're basically set for vehicle finance. There are more, but these are the main ones, right? Sixty percent, seventy percent of what we're doing is going to revolve around this. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So let's go to sixteen again, page sixteen. I'll leave it on there because it's it's very important that you have this. Okay, so if you're at home, if you're on your phone, take a screenshot or something. And then I want you to go 16 and do 16. Let's go 16 to 17 for now. And if we don't, if we if if we have more time, we'll do the rest. But if you do page 16 and 17 for now. And then I'll take some time to go over that, okay? So wake up at home, okay? I know it's Friday. So do now, okay? You okay? Hold something or? Oh. So do 16 to 17, okay, folks?